If you struggle with overthinking, you may have a busy mind. What is a busy mind? They say on average we have anywhere from 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. A busy mind is a mind that tries to attach meaning and value and questioning and understanding to all of those thoughts. Thoughts naturally come and go, but a busy mind forces certain thoughts to stay, to be more prevalent, to be do, 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 do. Like, like they're trying to get in the door. See, that's what overthinking feels like. It's like a thought, like your brain is a room with a closed door and overthinking feels like this thought is just banging on the door trying to get in. Get up, open the door, let the thought in. What would happen? What would happen if you do that? See, if you let that thought in, it may come in the room, it may fill the room up. It may also come in the room and it might fly right out the window. Busy mind wants to hold on to all of these thoughts. A busy mind wants to project as to what the future may be. A busy mind wants to think about, well, if I would have said this, or if I would have did this, if I would have been this type of person, if I would have known that, if I would have been this way, if I could have just did one more chance, if I would have had one more opportunity, if I call her one more time, if she gets back with me one more time, if I wouldn't have drank that night, if I wouldn't have said this, if I would have just studied more, if I would have did... This is what overthinking feels like. This is what it is. It's 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 ruminating thoughts over and over and over and over and over. It's obsessive. So the question is how how does one how does one stop a busy mind? Well, the the easy answer that we always give, and when I say we, I mean people who have overcome overthinking or or gurus or teachers, practitioners, uh, health mental health experts, the Easy answer, which is the, the most obvious, is to meditate because a, a meditation helps you free uh, your mind, right? But I'm going to I'm going to expand that one further because then you're going to instantly ask me, well, how do you meditate? Well, there's a million different ways you can meditate. So let's not go that route. Let's take this a different route. Let's take this a route that most people don't go. I want you to do things, activities that help you get in a meditative state. Perfect example. If you stopped right now and did 100 push-ups, well, one, you might not be able to do 100 push-ups, but if you did 100 push-ups, what would happen? You would be so focused on exerting enough energy on your breathing to do 100 push-ups that you would instantly enter a meditative state. And any of the thoughts outside of that state, that state would completely go away you would not be able to overthink. It would be impossible. As a writer, one of the things I love to do is to put on a little bit of ambiance, a little music, open up my notebook, my computer, and sometimes I'll light a candle. Sometimes I'll put some essential oils in some water and I, I have a diffuser, right? So that's called aromatherapy. When I write, I have aromatherapy going on. Like right now, this room smells like eucalyptus. It smells whoo, so good. And what I'll do is I'll just start writing and I never try to control the thought. I just I just write and write and write and write. That's a meditative state. Right. What would happen if you stood up right now and you stretch to the sky as, as fast as you can stretch? Not fast, but if you stretch to the sky as far as you can stretch, you put your hands together and you just, at the, and you just held that for 30 seconds and while you while you're breathing you just you just cup took in a couple of exhales and inhales you know you're stretched out what would happen my friend you you would meditate you would naturally meditate so for the people who ask how do you meditate if you deal with overthinking me telling you hey just meditate may not happen but if you look at it as what activities do I already do throughout my day that help me go into a natural, uh, organic meditative state? 
Oh, those activities. Okay, so I need to do a few more of those activities. And depending on who you are, that may change. For example, like there could be someone in your life that you really like talking to because to them, the conversation is so natural and it flows. And you guys just talk about so many different topics and you're not you don't have any anxiety. You're not overthinking when you talk to them. Make it more of a point to talk to that person. Make it more of a point to learn what's going on in, in that conversation that makes you feel that way, because that feeling can be duplicated with multiple people. But it's up to you to to kind of see what it is. Like, oh, OK, I like talking to them because they're open minded. Oh, I like talking to them because I think they can understand because they went through what I went through, whatever that looks like. Right now. The last thing I want to tell you that's going to help you with, you know, overthinking is to journal. If you have so many thoughts that you can't control your thoughts, what you have to do is get your thoughts out of your head. One of the best ways to get your thoughts out of your head is to journal. OK, you don't like writing, then do this. Open up your cell phone, prop it up and just talk just like I'm doing right now. Just talk. You don't ever have to post it. You don't ever have to share it. Just talk. That's another way for you to get your thoughts out of your head. My friends, what you just watched was one of the components, one of the sections, one of the lessons of my course, how to stop overthinking. If overthinking is something that you really struggle with, I just want to tell you about the resources I have and you can tap in. I have a book that's going to help you out with overthinking. Uh, that book is called Free Your Energy. It's actually right here. I have a brand new course that is going to help you. There's 10 plus lessons. This is one of them. Uh, that is called How to Stop Overthinking. For the course or for the book, just visit my website, SylvesterMcNutt.net, or just go to the link in my bio. I really want you to take the course because the course has so many stories, so many ideas. It will free you. If you want the book, the book's available in ebook or paperback. I hope we all continue to free our energy.